Welcome to a, another interesting day on planet Earth and welcome. I'm recording this on the full moon, which is in the sign of Gemini. And of course, we're in the part of the year, which is the Sagittarian part of the year as we move. I think it's only 30 days till Christmas. Somebody reminded me and I'm coming, I guess, from a place of being a little tender because on the weekend, Brian and I seem to have spent our weekend counselling people. Um, and I just wonder how you're feeling. It feels a very emotional weekend for me and for others that I'm dealing with, and particularly people that are um, still very lost in their head and very don't understand this things shifting and things are shifting quickly, uh, planetary for people, but also emotionally for people and they're not quite catching up and the two people that we were in deep conversation with uh, particularly on the weekend were people um, that had had some trauma in their life uh, two men and one was had cancer and he followed what he wanted to do and went down that path of the normal medis medical system and the, one of the things he said to me was when he was going through it was, I just want to get back to how things were. And this was a very much the theme of the second person we met who has got back issues and is in the medical system and is just saying the same thing. I just want to get to think back to things to how they were. And I guess I'm here to say things cannot go back to how they were in your life. We're actually at a point where things are shifting. And especially on a full moon, if you're very sensitive or you're empath like me, you start to feel very much the um, pulse of the moon shift where there is a lot of emotions that are, are coming up. And of course, people that are locked in their head, the emotions come up. And then, um, and they just can't, can't, don't have the framework or can't deal with the emotions as they come up. And I guess yesterday, after listening to this gentleman in the afternoon, just talk nonstop about how he really doesn't value his body, how he just wants the medical system to fix him up, and and how he knows he eats the wrong food, and how he knows what he does. And there was just such much, so much of a flavor yesterday about people who ha don't have self-worth and they don't value the vessel that we have, um, which is our body. And, uh, you know, at all stages of our life, we're really, if we don't listen to it, we're, we're certainly given it a life lesson from the outer world um, and our soul to wake us up. And by the afternoon, after listening to this gentleman just go on and on and on for two hours of his story, and it's a history, past events that are still playing out in the current moment and which project into the outer world and have an influence on the future as well. So it was painful to, to watch somebody in pain in their life, not only emotionally but physically. I said to him, can I come up and just put my hand on your chest? Will it be okay? And I, I think he was a little taken away. And I put my hand there and I looked into his eyes and said, it's not your fault. It's okay. You can let it go. And I just kept talking gently to him and encouraging him to look in my eyes. And he found it, me so intimidating. And he said, oh, I find this really uncomfortable. And I go, yeah, just, just stay with it. It's not your fault. Let it go. It's time to really step back into you. And, um, you know, it's hard also being in the space of people who are in a lot of pain. Um, I even saw my youngest, my oldest grandson who was, admitted to some pain that he experienced through his father which his mother and I never knew about and it was terrible for me to sit in that and just hold him and say it's not your fault I'm sorry we weren't there for you we didn't know this was going on and so and just seeing him crack open and being able to step into the gentleness and allow his own tears to sort of flow in the moment so 
it's good to see that he wanted to step on and, and be beyond that. So be gentle with people at the moment because there are many that are in their pain, that are, that are cracking open. The outer world is more and more turmoil and it's almost like there's a massive pressure being put on somebody. And you know, when you're in that moment of having so much pressure put on you, you do have to dig something deep within you and you um, move and shift and a bit like the pressure that's put as a diamond bursts out of being a very rough and raw stone. And that's what's happening with people at the moment. And so there are some things in our life that we can hold on to. And first is admit that you might need some help and seek help from whatever source you may need, whether it is from another person, um, somebody you look up to, Never whinge down to other people. Always look up to somebody who can raise you up in that moment. The other thing is never forget there's an invisible realm that you have access to. So call on your guides, call on your soul, call on God or the creator to assist you in that moment and help for you to see a new way or for you to, to lead you to somebody or bring somebody into your life. And the more that you can get comfortable with that, the better it is because we are moving into a new era and it might sound cliche, but there is some work that we all need to do as we move into this new time. And there will be, from what I can see in astrology, some more global upheaval uh, in December. And as we move into 2024, there's a lot of things speeding up and a lot of things being revealed. So the more you can be stable within yourself, hold your, your own calm, your own strength, your own resilience through this time and hold on or reach out to the people that you know that love and hold you and care for you around you, uh, the better you're going to be to weather the storm that is approaching. So uh, I just want to give that message to you today. Last time I was here, I talked about how there was a shift away from the old spiral into the new crisp spiral. And uh, there's all little more pieces of the puzzle that comes up as we understand that we're in a time where there has been duality, where there's been the negative as we look at it or what we might perceive as the positive, um, where there is the harmony of creation or the distortion. And we've been living in the distortion thinking it's normal. And in fact, now what we're seeing is what we thought was normal is not normal. And it's really shining on, on a light on the distortion that it is and helping to show us really where the harmony is, where that is. And so that's very much my theme as we head into the last um, month of the year, especially in our New Earth Academy classes which are tomorrow. So I'll be revealing a bit more there and just continuing on with some of the teachings and getting into some old tools that we, we uh, have practiced with some of the favorites um, as we hold and support each other in this final um, month of the year. So please just be um, uh, careful with yourself. Just be gentle with yourself. Hold yourself. Be loving to yourself, especially today because the veils are very thin between the worlds when we're in full moon and it's a perfect time to have some quiet listen to some beautiful music if you want or a, or a meditation or simply just get quiet decent deep breathing and just some journal with your soul because I can tell you uh, if you want to get some wisdom right in this moment because you feel a little lost or don't know where to go just sit down get quiet and allow words just to pour out of you onto paper don't edit them just allow them to pour from you and you'll be absolutely surprised the wisdom that comes forth from that. If you're not into that at all, um, please just be very, very gentle with yourself on this full moon and in these weeks ahead. So that's all for me, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Lots of love. Bye for now.